Hello everyone and peace of Christ to all of you. Today we have another Muhammadan and he have some uh, guideline for us to teach us about this amazing beautiful religion. It's called uh, the Muhammadan religion. Islam is through the continual understanding of Quran and living righteous life 24 7 mm. <laughs> I love this let me ask you a question when Muhammad he went to his own son house and he saw the wife of his son wearing sexy clothes and he said to her as it is written in all your tafsir's books Oh, praise be to Allah, who made my heart beating for you. Is that a righteous life of 24-7? To go to your own son's house and he have a married woman to him, a wife, not single, and you flirt with her. And this is what the story of the Muslim says. God knows what else. Is that a righteous man? Be honest. If your father come to your house and he did what Muhammad do, what do you are going to say to your father? And what kind of a father he is? You will tell me, oh, this is a father by adoption. This is even make it worse. Because when you adopt a person, you have a promise of a trust that you are my son. So Muhammad now, he is using the trust of his son by adoption and the trust of the community because he is the father why he is allowed to be in the house alone with the wife because he is the father if i am married and my father come to my house nobody will think about something fishy is going on because simply she is not lawful for him but if a foreign man keep coming when i am not home that is fishy so where is the righteous muhammad when he raped where is the righteous Muhammad when he have a sexual desire for a six years old a child? Where is the righteous Muhammad when he brought a Jewish man and he did beat him to death just to know where he hide his money? Where is the righteous Muhammad who said you can lie in three cases and since when you can fix the society by lies? Once a Muslim says to me, what if your wife is ugly and she asks you if she is pretty, what you will say? He will say to her, you are ugly? <laughs> That's a very stupid question. If she is ugly and you, th you think she is ugly, why you married her? Or because she is Khadija and she is rich like Muhammad, what he did. So Khadija, she asked Muhammad, am I young? Muhammad sure say, sure, you are 17 years old, not 25 years older than me. We continue. <clears throat> Muslims are not a race. That's very <clears throat> uh, a stupid thing to say from a Muslim. Uh, uh, <clears throat> for me, I believe, yes, Islam is not a race. However, Islam as a religion, they believe they are a race. And let me get you busted, Abdul. If we go in your uh, hadith, we will see, the, even the Quran says that, وَكُنْتُمْ خَيْرُ أُمَّةٍ أُخْرِجَتْ لِلنَّاسِ right so you are the best nation brought out to mankind so you are a nation so don't tell me you are not a race according to muhammad <clears throat> uh, you are a race and not only you are a race you are a race have a duty to capture every human being and put him into slavery and put a chain around his neck and bring him like a dog and humiliate him and torture him so he might embrace Islam. And this is why when Muslims occupy a country, the population will move very fast into converting to Islam to avoid what will happen to them. You can read more about the Pact of Umar and you will see what we are talking about. So what you said is absolutely a lie. Islam considers itself a race, and there is no other race except Islam for Muslims. This is why a Muslim, he don't believe in passport of like uh, to be an American or a British <clears throat> or even anything. 
your ID only is a Muslim. This is why Muhammad, he said, the one who is proud about his father, go and tell him to bite the penis of his father, which means if you are proud about an inheritance, an heritage, like the Chinese or etc., or if you are from a tribe, you are proud about your ethnic group, tell him, go and bite the penis of your father. Look how savage the language is, but this is Muhammad, nothing new. In the front of us here, it says, you are the best of people <clears throat> ever raised up for the benefit of mankind, between two brackets. The Muslim put the word benefit to make you believe this is for a benefit. This is in the translation, you know, by the way. It's not exist in the Quran. Benefit, when you hear this, you say, wow, they are the best people for the benefit, not for to harm. But look how they explain it. The best for mankind are those who bring them with the chains around their necks till they embrace Islam and thereby save them from the eternal punishment of hellfire. <clears throat> So the Muslim, he is making you a favor by bringing you like a dog, putting a leash around your neck, torturing you, beating the hell of you, enslaving you, until you convert to Islam. I mean, so what's the problem here? This is the life of a righteous Muslim, 24 hours, 7 days a week. There is a video made by <clears throat> a Muslim, sorry, my throat is dry. Uh, uh, by a Muslim in, in England, he says, if, like, if you walk in the street and you see a kafir, huh? you see a kafir, take him, uh, take him as a slave, or kill him, or if you want, you can take him to the slave market and sell him, hmm? sell him, right? This is the righteous Muslim, let us continue. Ah, Lord have mercy. What else, what else, Abdul? Uh, he walked the Quran, and what? And hundreds, thousands who saw the, his extreme character. Yeah, we saw the extreme character <laughs> where he said that the fifth from every attack for me. Why you want to take the fifth to his pocket? We saw his character where it says that if a Muslim woman, you know, she is horny, she can give her vagina to the Prophet. <clears throat> خالصاً له خالصاً له a privilege only for the prophet to f women خالصاً له من من دون المؤمنين which mean any Muslim woman she like to f the prophet and she is horny she can give herself to the prophet يا أيها النبي إن أحلنا لك أزواجك blah 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 your cousin she you can f your cousin you can f your neighbor you can f you can f you can f and look and وامرأة مؤمنة إن وهبت نفسها للنبي إن أراد أن يستنكحها يستنكحها خالصة لك من دون المؤمنين any woman, she want to give her vagina to F her by the Prophet. This is... A privilege for the Prophet penis. Have you ever heard of a Prophet making chapters about his privilege when it's come to his penis that any woman, she can open her legs for him? Why is that? I mean, he have already many wives. Why he wanted more? Any women? Like, what's wrong? Any women? Imagine I put a sign in my door says, Any women, she want me to F her. Excuse my language. I'm just saying things as it is, as you know me. She's welcome. I am the prophet. I am here in your service. Please, line up. And then Muhammad, when some ugly women start coming, he said to himself, uh oh, <clears throat> that was not good. So then after that, he said in the verse after, well, you know, and if you don't like some of them, you can delay them, hmm? right? Though may defer uh, the turn off of any of them <laughs> as he please. <laughs> This is the ch the character of the prophet, and this is the one you are telling me that he is a prophet of God. I mean, that's amazing. <clears throat> we continue with your message. All right. 
Islam is the only religion from higher power Oof. since time immemorial. Formerly Christian pagans, pagans, Hindu, Buddhist, atheist, who return to worship the one God without partner. <clears throat> I mean, this is the biggest fat lie. Most of them they keep saying to us that they worship one God and they take a partner with him. First of all. The Shahada is about taking a partner. You associate the name of Allah with the name of Muhammad. Can a person become a Muslim without saying the name of Muhammad? No. So you are associating the Shahada itself is taking partner. Same time, if I show you, if I know right now, if you go right now, uh, like as an example, <clears throat> uh, your prophet, when he asked the Muslims, where the sun go, as an example, I'm using my one hand, sorry, that is why typing is slow, because I'm using the phone, I'm using the microphone of my phone, uh, the computer phone, the microphone is bad. <clears throat> when your prophet, he asks, where is the sun goes? Hmm? The Muslims, what they say? What they say? Huh? They said, Allah and his apostles knows best. Isn't it this is shirk to associate the knowledge of God with the knowledge of a man? How Muhammad and his God knows best? I understand if you say Allah knows best. Hmm? Because Muhammad, he do not know. <clears throat> this is not of his knowledge. This is the knowledge of God, supposedly. So to say Allah and his apostle knows best, and look, Muhammad did not say, don't say that. Like imagine... I say to somebody, a Christian, uh, what do you think of etc.? And then he says to me, God and Christian prince knows best. What the heck? Who is a Christian prince here? <laughs> and Muhammad like it. And look what Muhammad, you said to me in the, in the text here, that a Muslim, he don't lie. So why Muhammad is lying? Muhammad, he said that the sun goes every day from east to, to west. To put straight, put straight itself under the throne of Allah. Is that a lie? And he explaining that this is the explanation of the verse in chapter 36, verse number 38, where it says the sun run into a fixed course. So you said that a Muslim should not lie. So why your prophet lying about the sun, claiming a knowledge he don't have, which is a stupid statement to say that the sun goes every day to sleep under the throne of Allah and praise Allah, and then Allah will, uh, well, she will ask Allah for permission and will come back. And now talking about the pagan, as long as you mentioned the pagan, I challenge you to show me one verse in the Bible says, we can be pagans. You might tell me, oh, there are some Christians, they have a statues of Mary. And this. my friend, this is have nothing to do with the Christianity. This is people doing a tradition, have nothing to do whatsoever with the Christianity. The Bible is so clear. It says all over the Bible that you do not make any idol. And anyone is doing that, he is breaking the teaching of God. As simple as that. I don't want to go like in, in details. <clears throat> However, to make it simple, you want to tell me the Catholic doing that? They are wrong. They are Christians, but all of us will do wrong anyway. I mean, who, who of us? The, the idolatry have many ways, by the way. Uh, you know, uh, people, they worship stars, people worship money, people, etc. But the Catholic, they are not worshiping a status. They make a status. However, it is wrong. The Bible says, clear, you don't make anything from out above or down in earth as an idol or a status or likeness of anything and the verses in the front of you and there's tons of verses however can we find in the quran the same no the quran actually says that allah himself he made idols and he ordered one of his prophet to make idols yes in the quran let me educate you abdul <clears throat> if we go here We will see the following. Surprise, surprise. Surprise, surprise. Okay. Sorry, the internet is slow where I am, you know. So I apologize for a slow internet. Let us see. 
يعملون له ما يشاء من محاريب وتماثيل what what this is the chapter of Saba Allah is saying that he made the devil shaitan subdued to the prophet of Islam you, you are the one who said to me that uh, uh, Suleiman and Abraham and blah 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 they are Muslims right look what's happening here look what's happening my friends unbelievable <clears throat> oh boy they made what do you see the word statues Allah he gave Suleiman the power to control the devils so they can make to him statues question what you do with the statues if we go to the interpretation they will say those are statues of a prophet so this is exist in your book by the permission of Allah given as an order <clears throat> to his prophet and as a power to control the devil to do this to him hmm? what is that what is that so give thanks O house of David huh give thanks don't should, shouldn't you give thanks because we made you make a synagogue and full of statues and where are those synagogues full of statues I never saw one can you tell me hmm. In Islam this is the Muslim statues all right so don't tell me you don't same time as long you're talking about the pagan how you explain to me that your prophet said that the black stone and the Yemeni corner <clears throat> whoever ever touched them Allah will erase his sin why if you are not a pagan how touching stones will erase your sin we Christian don't believe in touching stones will erase our sin is it your prophet who said that the black stone is the right hand of Allah so don't talk about pagan when you are a big pagan you bow down in the front of a stone you kiss a stone you believe that it is a holy stone you believe it's the right hand of Allah you believe that this black stone is going to witness in the judgment day is going to have eyes and ears and tongue which means it's a living stone and it's a holy stone and it's going it's going to, it's it's part of God the right hand of Allah and now here we see your prophet saying just by touching them your sin is erased why why where is the righteousness all what I need to do I do all kind of wrong things then I go and I touch the two stones and my sin is erased that is pagan my friend and that is deception of false god and false prophet and as long we are talking about deception don't forget to mention that you said that Muslim should not lie so how your God himself is a liar if we go in the Quran this is why I have a book it's called the deception of Allah <clears throat> your God he claimed that he is the best of deceiver and the one hmm? Are you going to guide the one who Allah <laughs> deceive? And look how the Muslims translation, how funny it is. Hmm? Read with me, please. The word yudlil means to deceive, mislead. Look at the translation. Okay. Uh, seek you to guide he whom Allah has sent astray. Send astray. What send astray mean? How you can send somebody astray? If we go to the dictionary, and this is your Muslim dictionary, Dalla misguide, misguided, misleaded, pervert. So Allah is the best of the pervert. Allah is the best to mislead. Allah is the best to deceive. Allah is the best to misguide. This is who is your God. He's a scam. And he's saying, are you going to guide the one who I misguide? And those verses are all over the Quran, my friend. It's not only like one verse. It's all over the Quran. وَمَنْ يُضْلِلَ اللَّهِ فَلَنْ تَجْدَ لَهُ سَبِيلًا And the one who Allah misguide, there is no guidance for him. La 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 la. So why Allah send the prophets? مَنْ يَشَاءَ اللَّهُ يُضِلُّهُ 
yudlilhu wa man yasha yaj'alahu ala siratin mustaqim so it is the will of allah is not about you choosing chapter 6 verse number 39 and this is additional stupid thing in islam they believe in the predestiny which mean you don't choose really to be a muslim or not it is the destiny of your god before he created you the video became so long so i have to stop here and i hope this abdul he got some answers for his stupid lies you are a pagan go and don't forget immediately before you die to hold the black stone and the yemeni corner for they erase your sin and as long you are talking about the hindus i believe strongly that you muslims stole most of your religion from the hindus this is why you muslims believe that allah when he sent adam down to earth he was sent to india and he used to fly sorry not to fly to take a mule every every year from bombay to mecca 40 time adam he did hajj i don't know why 40 40 you know alibaba and the 40 thief so 40 time the indian adam he went to mecca that is the root of islam even in your books adam was an indian now you tell me why he was an indian and he is the founder of islam and the funny you say is here that muhammad is the founder of islam hmm? huh? you see and then after that you say that abraham was a muslim <laughs> Musa was a Muslim, Isa was a Muslim, so how he was the founder of Islam. <laughs> My friend, they say in China, he left as a donkey, he never came back as a horse. I hope it's not your case. Christ is Lord, Islam is false. I mean to that. And see you soon again. Bye-bye.